Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome in my channel. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate you automatic alignment sheets in ArcGIS Pro. If you are not familiar with alignment sheets, I have made just a quick search in Google alignment sheets and Google has shown a lot of sites where you can see templates of alignment sheets. An alignment sheet is a set of maps along a project. The project may be pipelines, maybe roads, maybe power line, maybe water pipe, maybe drainage, maybe whatever, all kinds of utilities that have to do with linear features. So basically it may be every kind of utilities that they are. And uh, as you see by the picture, you have one plan view and you have some engineering information that for each project, this information is is most likely is different so you may have the same logic but the information displayed is totally different from one project to another i have opened now the empty project the project is going to have one plan view as we seen before and uh, is going to have two other uh, sections one is going to display the profile or the section view and on the bottom you are going to have the engineering information which for this case there is a pipeline and uh, the engineering information may be marker post, test post, coating, HDDs, casing, concrete slab etc. And uh, on the top we have the coordinates of the welds. And the other, the other, and the other spaces that I have uh, marked as static, this is going to be empty because this this space is going to keep static information like legend references or general information about companies, and etc. Now I'm not gonna lose any more in introduction and let's run this automatization and let's see the product of it. I'm closing ArcGIS Pro right now. From the, from the left side we have the script file and from the right side we have the project folder we see again there are three databases and in three databases is what this script is going to work and this is the path and this is the project that we have just opened right now and the PDF folder is going to be where all the PDFs is going to be saved. Now I'm going to keep this folder in PDF to see what's going on and uh, I will just click run this this uh, this script and uh, we will inspect the script which is uh, very fast and the result is going to be listed here one by one all the maps Of course, we are not going to wait until the end, but we are going to wait until the first and the second map, map is going to get to get produced and uh, then we will in inspect the maps. Meanwhile, the script can go running all, all that period and the video is going to be shorter, not a long video. Here we go. It started the map production. And we see in our folder that the maps is getting produced one by one. The first map is is just got produced. We have the second map and so on. So we are going to open now the maps. No, we are not going to wait until the end of the script. Uh, so let's, let's open the first map to see what's going on. And once we open, we see that... Uh, we see that the our frames now are completely with information and uh, we see that the colors we can modify colors in ArcMap everybody knows that and the labels the labels are very beautiful so the ArcMap can fit exactly the labels where it needs so the labels do not uh, overlap with each other even when it is a very hard situation the, there are some options in ArcMap that you 
the label automatically is getting one label smaller to leave space for the next label. The quality is all about uh, the Firefox because I don't have any software to open the PDF, but the quality is is a uh, is a vector, so everything is vector. If you see that I can select everything, but if we leave for a little bit here, then the quality is gonna get back. Uh, we have then the we have the engineering which are totally totally filled with information uh, the engineering does does not make sense because we cannot have all this information in the same location but this is just for demonstration as i as i said before and uh, so the information that i have added here is totally wrong by engineering point of view and uh, the kp everything is fitted so per each weld we have the depth of cover we have the we have the we have the elevation of the pipe we have the rain statement elevation we have the depth of cover we have the s build depth of cover and kilometer point that correspond with everything with the plan view and the weld coordin welds coordinates are totally dynamic so for this sheet we have this set of coordinates we start from number one until number 68 which correspond with this weld this is until weld 63 because the weld 68 is above the limit it is in sheet number two but it is displayed in this layout so the welds are just for the layout and the and the the section view is just what is covered from this from this from this uh, layout until the sheet number 2 in the sheet number 2 we'll see that the well starts at 60 at this number at 63 and not at 68 so all features are displayed also in plan view now let's see the second the second map how how does it align with the first map we see that the maps are already finished the 25 maps and the second map it start exactly after the sheet number 1 we have the sheet number 2 and it has all the required feature and uh, we see that the welds now it starts exactly from the last weld, the last weld was 63, this starts from 62 and uh, it goes until 58. And uh, we have also, also the crossing, the existing utilities. So we have two pipes here and one, one cable. Uh, we have their real location in the space and uh, how far away are with the current project. And now the input information, if we go back, uh, we have one input tables. This is the information where ArcGIS Pro read everything and write here. So the input information is, is totally CSV files. And uh, the CSV files are totally, are very easy to be compiled. So we see we have just one KP from and to and uh, we have the type of the feature and we have the value which is the value that is displayed right here the label and for example if we want to to verify one one feature let's verify hdd number two how is aligned this uh, hdd starts at kp 1420 now let's go to the page number two we have hdd number two here and it starts at kp1 plus 420 which was exactly the kp the start kp here and one plus 480 the end of the of this hdd is kp1 plus 480 
So this was all what I wanted to demonstrate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any comment or suggestion, write down in the comment. And I very soon I will publish this script totally for free so you can adjust it for your project. See you soon.